We've all sat down and sent out an email message before, but have you ever thought about how the message gets from one place to another? This is Internet Protocol Explained. Our language is very different from the language that a computer uses, so the messages that we create need to be translated from an alphabetic text into an electronic signal before they can be sent. This translation is handled in the computer by the separate modules in the communication protocol. Because these protocols, or rules of conduct, usually communicate with two or more modules, they are best described as layers in a stack of protocols. These layers are the application layer, transport layer, internet layer, the link layer, and physical layer. The messages that we send are filtered through these layers and broken down into small chunks of data called packets. We start with the application layer to create our message. One example of a protocol from the application layer that you may be familiar with is the Hypertext Transfer Protocol, or HTTP. The transport layer uses the Transmission Control Protocol, or TCP, to encapsulate the data blocks from the application layer. It then moves to the Internet layer, where the Internet Protocol, or IP, is used to deliver the packets. These packets are delivered through the link layer, which is an Ethernet cable, to the physical layer, which is the basic hardware of your computer network. The computer that receives these data packets moves them through the protocol stack in a reverse order, so that the message can be reconstructed and understood. This has been Internet Protocol Explained.